In this video, we're going to cover five settings on the Fire TV that you should change right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set your Fire TV up for maximum privacy. I don't like it collecting uh, data for marketing purposes. Uh, so we're going to go to settings and preferences. Then privacy settings. And these, pretty much all of these, just turn them off. We don't, we don't need these. It's not going to affect how you use it unless you care about ads. Uh, if, if you want ads, yeah, of course, and you just leave them on. But um, I paid for this hardware and I don't want it spying on me. So just shut all these off and it will maximize your privacy. All right, and the next thing is uh, regarding volume. Sometimes the volume is way too loud all of a sudden, especially when a commercial comes on. Or you might have a problem uh, listening to the dialogue in, in certain videos. We're gonna go to settings and display in sounds. And down here, we're gonna go to audio and then advanced audio. And I like to have the volume leveler on that that'll keep, as it says here, it'll set a consistent volume across your streaming, your streaming content and apps. And the dialogue enhancer boosts the vocals to make it easy to understand. So it's good for those nights where you have the volume low and the kid, you're trying to not turn the TV up too loud and wake up the kids. All right, and this third one might just be the biggest annoyance of the Fire TV. It's when, you, uh, when you're on the home screen and you're uh, browsing through things, sometimes it will automatically start playing previews. So um, the audio will get unexpectedly loud when it does that. You can disable that. We're gonna go back to our settings cog and then go to preferences. And then there's this featured content. Interesting menu. But yeah, allow video autoplay. We'll just set this to off, both of these. Audio autoplay, video. We don't want sudden video and sudden sounds playing while we're browsing on the home screen. It's really annoying. All right, nobody wants notifications popping up on the screen when you're trying to watch your favorite movie. There's a notification setting that controls that. Go back under settings, back to our preferences. And there's this notification settings option. Yeah, I don't want it to interrupt. So you actually turn this one on. And if you want some app notifications, you can get specific with the apps here and turn them on and off as desired. But just another annoyance. Just, I, don't, I don't like things popping up unexpectedly. Just shut it off. And this fifth and last thing that I'm going to cover, uh, some of you may want to keep it enabled, but to me, it doesn't really make any sense to keep it enabled. It's the screensaver. I'm going to go to settings and I'll tell you why. Uh, display and sounds, screensaver, start time. I'm just going to set this to never because, uh, you know, while the screensaver is pretty nice, what happens is in some apps, when you're, when you are watching something and then you pause it and walk away, the screensaver will come on and then it'll kick you completely out of the app. So you have to go back through the menus to bring up your your up the episode you were watching. It's really annoying. It especially annoys my wife and my child because they they're like they come back to the from the bathroom and they're like I don't know what the heck happened, and how do I get things back on? But uh, yeah, it's uh, the screensaver is nice, but you know if it's if some apps don't work well with it, allowing me to continue um, my video, uh, it's it's useless to me. So highly recommend you turn that one off. It's it's just. It's just really annoying. If this video helped you, be sure to like and subscribe. 
And for tips like this and more, visit streamersworld.com. Thanks for watching.